is Captain Chaudhary once again. Today uh, I'm going to speak about the planets and their behavior, including Kepler's laws. Now, as I might have mentioned earlier, that we have two inferior planets and the many superior planets. Venus and Mercury are the inferior planets. Then on the outer side we have Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus and Pluto. Now, uh, a few terms we'll try to understand with one of the inferior planets. So, I can explain it with the help of a diagram. His Sun. This is an inferior planet, say Venus orbit. And this is the Earth's orbit. Now, uh, to understand the terms like conjunction and opposition, let us first understand elongation. What is elongation? There are a few terms which must be understood in correct perspective to understand the astronomy in a proper way. Elongation is one of such terms, very important uh, definition. Elongation is the angle subtended at the center of the earth between the directions of sun and any heavenly body, say Venus. Here is the elongation, but my definition won't be correct unless I say this angle is measured in the plane of ecliptic. So, elongation is angle at the center of the earth measured between the directions of center of the sun and the heavenly body measure east or west of the sun but must mention in the plane of ecliptic. So this is the elongation. Now this is the direction of sun, this is the direction of Venus. From the direction of sun to direction of Venus, I need to turn clockwise as seen from top. That means I need to turn westward from here to here, from here to here. So Venus is on westerly elongation. Same way, Venus can be on the easterly elongation. As you can see, while going around the orbit, there is a limit to which this elongation can increase. So, can I say that inferior planets have a limit of maximum elongation? Venus can never come on this side of the earth. That means Venus and Sun can never be in opposition. Venus can only be in conjunction. Then Venus can have inferior conjunction over here. Conjunction means a zero elongation. As you say, the direction of Sun and direction of Venus are the same. The angle between their directions is zero. So Venus on zero elongation here, Venus on zero elongation there. Both are conjunction. This is inferior conjunction and this is superior conjunction. Venus can be on, or for that matter, the inferior planets can be on inferior conjunction and superior conjunction, but they cannot be in opposition, like moon, like uh, superior planets.